Hey everyone, Vanessa here. Welcome to my channel. Now, because I'm a photographer, I do all my own family photos and stuff. I haven't bought school photos for my kids. I think I've only done it for my oldest in like kindergarten and she's 15 now. So it was a long time ago. It's not that I don't support other photographers. Like if I were to hire another like person that was running their own photography business, that'd be cool. I support them. I don't really like the school photos. The the studio that comes in, they set up, they plop your kid down. They're like, they don't care if there's something weird going on with the hair or whatever. Like they're always kind of cringy. And I'm sorry, I'm just not gonna pay that much money for a cringy photo when I can do my own. So today I am setting up I'm in my living room because I just like the lighting better. I've got a big window for natural light and if I can use it, I do. And I'm just gonna show you guys the whole process because maybe this is something that you guys could start doing. I find that my kids get a much more natural smile when I'm taking their photo than some stranger. So I put it off a lot this year. I usually do this like in September or October when the school does it, but I, it's been kind of a weird year. Um, so anyways, I gotta get it done before Christmas. So this is my living room and um, I do have three kids, so there's gonna be randomness going on. <laughs> I, it doesn't matter, obviously I have this set up here. I'm not using the black, well, it's kind of a dark blue. I'm not using that, I'm gonna use the sheet that I have behind it. I don't actually own any real backdrops, I just use fabric. And this is the window light that I'm talking about. I might have to pull this a little bit closer because I don't know if you can, that line's actually faded cloth, but the light is kind of dropping off. And so I want it more consistent. So I'm gonna pull this forward, plunk my kids on a chair there. I'm gonna stand here and it's gonna work. It just is. I've taken photos with this setup before for my own stuff and the lighting is the best lighting that I can get shooting at home. So that's why I prefer it and I do it if I can. So this is the sheet that I am going to be shooting on. It's just kind of like a gray blue. It reminds me of like a school color background, school photo color background. It does have folds in it and I will be steaming that out. I'll show you guys what steamer I use. Um, this stand is awesome. I just bring it upstairs from my studio. It's fully adjustable. I can shorten it really low and right now it's like the width is as, as narrow as it gets but if I wanted to lengthen this out it does extend further. It comes with little clips to clip your stuff on there and it's pretty affordable if you guys are interested in a backdrop stand like this one. I have the link in my description box of all the stuff that I use and everything that I use, like I said, I usually buy as affordable as I can get it as long as it's still functional and this is functional. So this I just, I actually just shorten it, like I shorten this area down and then I grab the top and I carry it like up these stairs, still all put together and I don't actually take it all the way apart. But it, you can take it apart, you can throw it in a carrying case. I think it came with one. So it's easily transportable and I've taken this into other rooms in my house and used it for stuff. So I, I highly recommend just a cheapy backdrop. It works for me. I haven't had a single issue. That said, you absolutely don't have to buy a backdrop stand. I just got this like within the last year and I've been shooting for a long time. Before that, I would just pin um, sheets and stuff like that to the wall with like push pins. Like, that's it. If you have an open wall that works for that, go for it. Save yourself the 50 bucks or whatever it costs for a backdrop stand. It's just my living room and the way that I want to shoot in this house, it, it, it wasn't working that way i had a good spot for that in my old house and i didn't have that here so i bought a stand but you do you babe this is the steamer that i use and if you follow me on instagram and have ever seen me 
do stories about wigs, you might have seen me use this to straighten wigs. And I love it for that. It works perfectly. But I also use it to get creases out of backdrops. So I highly recommend a steamer. It's way easier than like trying to iron something like this because you can just hang it and steam it. And sometimes I don't even steam the bottom because if I'm not shooting that area, I just don't even bother. As you can see, it starts boiling and pushing out a bunch of steam. And that's when you know you're ready. Here's my final setup. If I had a chair with no back, I would use that, but this is the closest that I've got, so it's okay. I'm keeping the stool a little bit away from the background. It's not right up against it. So that the background will have a little bit of blur to it, which should help with the slight hanging lines on the edges. I did my best to get it as flat as possible, but the clamps tend to create little creases. It's not a huge deal if the blur from the camera doesn't get rid of it completely. I can touch it up in Photoshop. So I will probably do edits with this video and just do start to finish set up, shoot, and then edits. Here's Alden and he's my first model. What's up? <laughs> I basically shoot for three different poses when I'm doing like these school photo portraits. And the first one is just having um, my kids sit straight. And I basically just do what they do in the, in the <laughs> photos that they send home. Okay, so just look at me. All right. Yeah! <laughs> okay, so the next thing Dance that hands. I'm going to do Dance. is you're going to turn. You're going to sit on the chair. I've got the chair turned a little bit. So you're going to sit straight but you're gonna turn your upper body, or yeah, like this, and then turn your body towards me. Got it. And the last one that I'm gonna do, and I wouldn't do this if I didn't have a back on this chair, but I do. So now you can turn this way. And I like to do the more like the casual pose. So he's got, I don't know, can you stand up and come over here so you can see a little bit better what's going on with his arm? He's got his elbow resting there. And then I like to put that hand there, sit up straight a little bit. So he's got this more casual look. And then I shoot that pose. Smile. <laughs> and then if I want a toothy smile out of my kids, I usually do something dumb like earlier I was. <laughs> oh, he's, look, he's already laughing because he remembers. <laughs> chicken face. Chicken face isn't funny. <laughs> but I made him laugh. laugh evilly. <laughs> I've a, a good one. Whatever. I got a good natural <laughs> smile out of there. When it comes to the edits, I tried to keep it as natural as possible, as close to what a regular school portrait would do. So all I really did here was adjust the levels a little bit and I did some cropping. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all the things that I'm creating.